Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So for today's video, I haven't done this in so, so long, but right now my Sephora cart is overflowing. I need to make some cuts. I need to make some decisions and I really want your guys' help. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a deep dive into my Sephora shopping cart. What's in there right now? What am I gonna be purchasing and what am I gonna be passing on? Let's go. Okay, before we jump into all of these items, I just wanna preface this video by saying, Michaela is freaking ruining my life for the longest time. I don't know, I was in a funk, so I was avoiding any type of makeup content. I've recently followed her and she's making me literally bankrupt. I cannot stop buying all the things she shows on her TikTok. Do you guys follow her? I don't know. For me, she's personally literally making me go bankrupt. But the first item she actually talked about, this is the Rouge Dior Forever Transfer Proof lipstick and this is $52 Canadian. I'm choosing it in the shade 300 forever nude style. They're actually extremely creamy which I was not expecting at all. I don't understand how these wouldn't transfer. It feels like a regular lipstick. Okay let's see. That's not bad. That's not What the f So I actually went into the store yesterday because I really wanted to see like, let's be smart with our decision making this time around. I wanna swatch the colors. I'm one of those people where I will return something, but I'm also perpetually lazy. So I really wanna make sure now when I make my purchases that I'm actually liking what I'm purchasing. Sometimes when you choose lipsticks, like they look totally, obviously you guys know they look totally different online. So I went in store and it's even nicer than I thought it was. I really didn't wanna pay the $52 price tag, but the prospect of having a slightly emollient lipstick that does not move off of my lips is too good to pass up. So I think I'm definitely gonna go for this one. It comes in a bunch of stunning shades, but I think this is gonna be what I will choose and wear more often. So I'm gonna choose this because it is $52 for one freaking lipstick. So that one I do think is gonna get purchased. Oh. Okay, the next item I wanna talk about. So I have been on the search for a new concealer. My holy grail has always been my Tarte Shape Tape, but lately I just feel like it's, it's really liney, like it's, I, I don't know, I'm aging, I think I need a, something a little bit more hydrating. And again, on TikTok, it wasn't Michaela this time, it was another creator, I came across the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Full Coverage Concealer. And from the way she made it look, it seems like another one of those holy grail products. The claim of it being an all over concealer really has me interested because a lot of times for my day-to-day -day makeup, what I will do is just take my concealer, dot it all over my face, including under my eyes, take some type of spray like this guy here, the Fix Plus, and I will spray my whole face. And then I'll go in with something like this, a Kabuki brush, and I will just kind to go over all of that or I'll be going in with the giant marshmallow sponge but pretty much I like taking the concealer all over my face so that really drew me into this product when I looked it up on Sephora I definitely want to give it a go I'm not too sure of the color when I went in store to Sephora yesterday I could not find this product the 215 buff neutral is what I'm guessing is going to be me I hate playing the guessing game and then having to return a bunch of stuff but I think I'm gonna take the plunge right now. Sephora has a special of four times the points for concealers, so why not give it a try? Up next in my cart, it's another skin-related product, and that is going to be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup SPF 19 in the color 2W1 Dawn. Another product that just don't make sense is Double Wear Sheer. How can you look so undetectable, so, so natural, and it's still cover all my redness and last all day? No, seriously. How the you and look at that glow and it looks really really hydrated and glowy but it sets into a matte finish I don't it just doesn't make sense and it is beautiful and doesn't matter how much you put it on it will never look cakey it just I love this I love this so much so I saw these in store yesterday. I had to swatch to find my color and thank God that I did because I had a incorrect color in my cart. 
So I know that this year, the trend towards foundation has been doing something very, very light and skin-like. And I feel like Estee Lauder really hit it home with this from everything that I've seen online about this foundation. It looks, and from when I felt it in store, it felt as though it has like this glowy look, yet it sets matte. So that's very promising to me. Right now, I've been hooked on my Chanel water foundation and that very much does the same thing. So do I need it? Probably not, but do we need half the makeup items that we buy absolutely we don't but we want them anyway because they make us happy so i'm thinking i'm gonna give this foundation a try would you guys be curious to see how the foundation wears something really appealing about the estee lauder double wear i've never tried it it's a holy grail for so many people but I felt that it may be a little bit too thick looking. I love that it's come out in this sheer consistency. It's perfect for every day. It has an SPF in it, and I think it's gonna be really, really useful overall. So I think, oh, I think for this one, I'm gonna take the plunge. Again, I just did get this guy, and this was a giant dent in my bank account, so I shouldn't be getting it, but I'm so, so curious about it that I think I might have to. And of course, it's double wear. So it claims to wear for at least 12 hours without budging off of your face, and all of those claims just they reeled me right in i think i'm gonna have to say yes for this one as well damn it okay next up oh this one i really was trying to avoid it i have so many eyeshadow palettes in my collection but i went in store and when i saw these shimmers in person i could not resist and that is the natasha denona glam eyeshadow palette this goes for 87 dollars canadian which is a lot for me given i pretty much have every eyeshadow color ever made but I love and I always have loved Natasha Denona shimmers. Right now, I'm taking a break from my Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes, so I'm not really drawn to use them, and I really want some beautiful fall, everyday neutrals that I can wear, and I really feel like this glam palette is such a perfect spin on the cool tone vibe. Now, I already have the Natasha Denona Biba palette, so I thought this would be a great addition because this palette has a lot of warm nudes, and they do it doesn't necessarily have too many shimmers, and I'm a warm nude matte girl, but for my shimmers, like there's only two in here. I use them a ton, but there's only two. In that palette, the glam palette, it is mostly shimmers. So I feel like it would just be perfect for me. I think I would reach for it a ton. And even though it is so much money, I think $87 is a ton for a palette. I'm still going to dive in and get it because I have to. There are only three items left in the cart. Now I'm getting this strictly because my TikTok about Olaplex that went like semi-viral, like for me viral, it's like almost a quarter million views. But somebody commented on that TikTok and it got a bunch of likes that I should be trying the Briogeo avocado mask. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. It is pricey at $50 Canadian, but because there's no protein in this mask and the way once I did some research on the actual mask as well, the hair mask, it had rave reviews. The first review I read was, this is the best hair mask I've ever used in my life, no cap. I also read a ton of other really great reviews. So I'm really, really on this journey to improve all of this breakage that the Olaplex has caused. If you didn't watch that video, I will link that right up here for you. But yeah, I am really going through it with my hair and everyone is saying that this mask can help. So I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna take the L and spend the $50 and get it. Actually, when I was a kid, my mom used to make this fresh avocado hair mask. So I think it's gonna be really, really good. That's another, I love that it says superfoods there in the title. I love the ingredient list. So I think I'm just gonna do it. I think it might really, really help my hair. Fingers frigging crossed. Let me know if you want an update. The next item in my cart, this has been a cult classic, I think for a while now. It's been viral for a really long time. I know it was sold out for a while. And that is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. This is a apparently universally stunning color. I think Kylie originally, Kylie Jenner originally, I don't know, put something somewhere about it and then it, people went crazy over it and tried it and it's good on apparently every single skin tone. It sounds like it has a rosy glow to it. So I really like the prospect of that. So I, did I say no to even one item in this cart? Like, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to get it. I mean, it's pretty pricey given that it's Dior, but it's beyond worth it in my opinion. And it looks pretty and I want it. 
It's $48 Canadian, by the way, if I didn't mention. The last item that I think I'm gonna be purchasing, I think I'm gonna say yes to this one. I've seen way too many reviews and I'm just too curious. And that is the House Labs Atomic Shake Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. And I'm gonna be trying it in the Rosewood Shine color. Lady Gaga came out with liquid lipsticks that are glossy and basically don't move. These are the House Labs Atomic Shake Lip Lacquers and basically the minute they came out I placed my order and I, I'm so excited to try them. So you gotta shake them up and then you apply them and you basically can't touch your lips like smack them together for at least 15 seconds and they say that after that it's, it stays. Okay here we go. Oh okay. Oh my god. Okay don't touch the lips. Okay, okay. And now we wait, I guess. One, two, three. I'm trying not to drool. Okay, as you can see, super glossy, super pretty, but let's, okay. on earth is going on? I've been eyeing this ever since it's been all over my FYP. You know I had to try it for you guys. Not only for you guys, I'm genuinely really curious. I've never tried anything from House Labs, so this will be my first House Labs item, and I'm super excited about it. So I was supposed to go through this entire cart and pick out things and say yes to things and no to other things. And pretty much all I can figure out is that I'm saying yes to everything. Guys, help me out in the comments. What should I skip out on? Have you tried any of these items that you would be like, mm, don't, don't even bother with that, it's no good? Or should I just buy everything? <laughs> Definitely let me know what's in your guys' carts lately. I wanna keep stuffing more in mine if I can. So let me know what's on your wish list, what's in your carts lately. I'm so so curious thank you guys so so much for watching this video i actually really liked it it was nice short cute and fun let me know if you like this style i will definitely do more for you and stay tuned because you're most likely going to be getting a haul of me using all these new items super duper soon i'll catch you on the next one guys bye